What's up, you guys? Avery here, and ladies and gentlemen, I have found out something interesting about the ban list. So make sure that you destroy the ever living crap out of that subscribe button. We gained six subscribers in like less than 24 hours. So I don't know if someone gave me a shout out, if someone, you know, put my YouTube account on, I don't know, Tinder, MySpace, whatever the hell people use to communicate these days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Y'all, thank you so much for all the support. Keep on subscribing so we can get to 900 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm really just kind of sitting here waiting for a ban list because I really want a new fucking format because this format is a bucket of liquid ass with big old booty booty butt cheeks inside. <laughs> and so uh, I was looking here at specifically the UK European site for the Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. And if you notice, they have archived all of the ban lists like even back in 1999 when the game was i believe just starting in uh japan because we didn't get the game until like 2002 or so and then they had like little limit restrictions and things uh which is actually really interesting to look at especially when like you look at september of 2003 and we click go and this was the limited list and semi-limited and unlimited list uh, in 2003 and then you look here down to March of 2004 when stuff starting to get banned ban 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 it's just really funny to look back at this stuff right now what's cool about this and you're probably thinking Avery why the hell are you showing me this this has nothing to do with the balance but it actually does because I am sick and tired of Konami not telling us on the ban list, you know, even on the European side, the next update after this will be no earlier than a few months from now. So you know what? I thought, Konami, fuck it. If you're not going to do the work, I'm going to do the work for you and show the community something that we can at least use as a measuring point. Because personally, I don't think it's fair that I have to sit here basically with my thumb up my ass waiting to buy cards to play Sprite because I don't know what's going to get hit on balance. And with my dog shit luck, I'm going to buy a play set of Prosperities to use in Sprite, and then they're going to hit Prosperity to one, because that's just my luck. It's the same with hand traps. My opponent always has at least like three hand traps to stop me from playing the game. So I really don't want to buy cards right now. You know, who knows? Konami could do anything on the balance. They could reban Totally Awesome. They could ban Swap Frog. I mean, they could just do anything, and I don't want to take that risk. So I was looking here on previous balance to see if I could gauge when a new list is coming out and if you notice specifically i went back around like the 2017 and kind of worked my way up when we started getting multiple ban lists you know in a year which really started with 2014 you tend to notice a pattern here especially when you start from uh january of 2014 so let's go ahead and go through this here and let's see if you can notice it as well so you have january april july october january april july november so already right off the bat here in a one year time span, we're seeing a point where it's like January, April, July, a month, January, April, July, a one extra month. And it starts to get a bit different here, but these are what I believe are some outliers. You have April, August, March, June, September, November, February into 2018. Believe it or not, we have not had a August or a May ban list August specifically since 2016 and May since 2018 um, before this May 2022 ban list dropped. Now, we've had two May ban lists out of all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And we've only had one ban list drop in August. So continuing through here to 2017, we got uh, March, June, September, November, February, May, September, December, January. So you're still kind of hitting that same realm, sort of. 2019, 2020 is a little bit different because of the fact you have to keep in mind that we did have COVID. So the timing is a bit off. So like we have January, April, July, then October, and then we didn't get anything until January, 2020. But then it kind of picks back up because then we got our January, April, June, September, December. And then once you hit December, we've got March, July, October, February, they started hitting like every three months consistently. Now, some of these are a bit different. Like we had one that was like two months later from October to January. Um, again, I think that that's a bit of an outlier because of COVID that we had such a short time frame of just two months because Konami was like, oh shit, we need to hit this stuff. And then they went ahead and put out a ban list. Um, also during this time, they had the no sooner than and no later than time. So things were a bit different then. Now they just say in a few months. So 
it's safe to say that we're not going to have something at least for three to four months from the point that a balance drops. I say that because, again, when you look at these months, you're consistently hitting three to four months like multiple times in a row. You know, you look at September, October, November, December, that's three months. December to March, January, February, March, three months. Uh, March to July, May, June, July, three months. July to October, you've got August, September, October, that's another three months. So that's three times in a row that they've hit three months and then you hit the february gap here and what is that october november december january february you hit your first four month ban list gap between october and february when yet the previous three were all three months three months three months and then besides the outlier of the one two month one from october 2019 to january 2020 now we're looking at may and you look at this here and it says within a few months and it leads one to believe at least me i'm sitting here thinking oh shit are we not going to see a ban list until like the end of August or the beginning of October? And I say the end of August because the last time that we got an August ban list, which was in 2016, as I previously said, when I looked up the date for this ban list, August 2016, that ban list came out August 27th. So it came out near the end of August, whereas the May uh, 2018 ban list that came out near like the beginning of May, if I remember correctly. And then the May 2022 ban list came out on the 17th. So there was a little bit of time between the two. They weren't exactly like the same, but it's still something to keep in mind because if you're sitting here waiting to buy cards and yet you're pissed off that Konami basically isn't telling us other than we look at this list here and kind of try to gauge it and basically throw a dart at the wall and see how right or how wrong we are. The August 2016 list came out near the end of August. It's safe to say that if we do get our second August ban list of all time, just a second August list, that it may not be until the end of the month. Again, though, it makes me wonder, one, is Konami really going to wait until the end of August to give us a ban list when yet September 10th through 11th we have a YCS and on top of that, too, near the end of August, August 27th and 28th, we have that YCS in Brazil. So are they really going to wait until the end of August, going into the beginning of September to give us a ban list when yet the Power of the Elements uh, regional season is already going on until like early to mid-October? It just doesn't make sense to me. At the same time, if you're sitting here waiting to go to regionals because you want to buy cards or you don't know what you're going to play because you don't want to invest because Konami might hit your deck... It's a really shitty spot to be in. And so I wanted to take the time to figure this out. And yeah, it may not be every three months on the dot. We're not exactly going to know because they're obviously not giving us an end date. However, this is still a good way to gauge it. You know, like I said, pa pa the past three balance were all three months, three months, three months. You had the one that was two months probably because of COVID. You had the one that was four months from October to February after getting three balance that were all three months back to back to back, boom, boom, boom. Even if they release it earlier than that three month gap, when they went into effect, it was a three month window. Now, what do I think is going to happen since we're in a May ban list? I really do think that Konami is going to give us a ban list in August. I thought it was going to be today. Clearly, it wasn't today. Hopefully, tomorrow. I also took the time to look at the days of the week, and really, that didn't prove to be anything because, I mean, the last ban list we got was like re revealed on a Thursday. The one before that was like on a Friday. The one, like one of the, the, the last May one we got in 2018 was revealed on what was a Saturday at the time. And so it's not really a good way to gauge it because it just goes to show Konami can release it any day of the week. And yeah, I know some people are going to say, Avery, you're wasting your time just looking at this three-month gap. At the same time, though, like I think it's worth noting and I think it's worth the community seeing this so that they can at least say, okay, they're on this three-month uh, interval, so to speak. Maybe they release a four-month one. Maybe they don't. And then you can kind of at least gauge things better that way instead of just waiting, quote unquote, a few months from now. Konami, if you didn't give us just a few months from now gap, I wouldn't have to do this kind of baby back bullshit. But you leave me with no choice. So if you're not going to give us an end date, the least I can do is give the community some kind of end date, even if it's just throwing a dart at the wall while I'm blindfolded. So... I do think that we will get a ban list in August. I do not think Konami is going to wait until September. The only way I see them waiting until September is because they want Tactical Masters to drop first. Let that get into the meta since Tactical Masters isn't legal for YCS Brazil. Konami came out and said this on their social media channels. And so maybe that's what they wait for. 
or they wait until the release of Tactical Masters, they wait until after the YCS, and then we get that end of August ban list like we got in August of 2016. Or they wait until September and they give us a second four-month gap. And maybe that's what they're moving towards since they did three months, three months, three months, three in a row, back to back to back. And the February to May was three months. Maybe now they're moving to a four-month gap. I just don't think that they're going to do that, though, especially if they want to hit that gap of like the September, December, March and like get on a three-month gap. Or they reveal it at the end of August but then it goes into effect on September, and then they're back on the September-December interval change. You know, September, December, March, or whatever, or like September, December, January, and then kind of get back on track that way. So because that 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 really is the majority of what they've done. Like, uh, you know, September, January, April, July. You look here, September, November, February, September, December, January. Like they they can they seem to consistently release lists in September, December, January, maybe April, July, sometimes October. Just this two month gap is just really weird, and I think that's just because of COVID and things. Like I said, but guys, please let me know what you think of the ban list. I'm, I, am I just overthinking this? Because honestly, I'm just so tired of this format that I'm just I'm sitting here literally fucking salivating like Konami. Give us a balance. It doesn't even have to be like a home run balance where you change everything. Do I want Mystic Mind and Hulk banned? Yes, absolutely. If Konami came out and said, look, no changes, we're going to delay it for a few more months, I'd be fine with that too because I just want to be able to buy my shit for Sprite because I have a regional September 10th and September 17th. It's going to take a few weeks for cards to come in, especially like with how slow the postal service can be in 2022. Guys, please, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again so much for all the support, and I will see you in the next video.